All right, so this problem has been sent to me by one of our followers. So uh, thank you very much for sending this my way. I really appreciate it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, a balanced three-phase load is rated at 100 kVA, 0.65 power factor. A uh, capacitive load is added in parallel with that in order to improve the power factor to 0.9. So the question is asking how much uh, that capacitive load um, is contributing as far as uh, reactive power. So before we even start um, uh, calculating, we, we need to understand, you know, what are we being asked here and what's the concept behind this. So this is about improving power factor, correct? So so what does it mean? You, remember, your power factor is essentially your angle between uh, the phase difference, right, between uh, voltage and current. So when we say improving power factor, what we mean is trying to reduce that phase difference between uh, between the voltage and the current. So because, remember again, uh, capacitors, they, they reduce uh, reactive power, but inductors, they, they increase reactive power. So because majority of loads are essentially uh, inductive loads, they're like inductive in, you know, they're inductive, uh, you need some sort of uh, reactive power in order to, to make it work. So that reactive power is 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 um, is is provided by 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 your capacitor. So the question here, you have a system, 100 kVA, 0.65 power factor. You need to bring that power factor up to point point nine. So you add a capacitor in parallel with that load. And the question is asking you how much is that capacitor contributing as far as um, reactive reactive power. So what we need to do is we need to find the old uh, the old reactive power for when the system was 0.65, and find the new reactive power for when the system is 0.9, and then calculate that difference. So that difference between the old reactive power and the new reactive power, that's how much the capacitor is, is contributing in order to reduce your, your reactive power. So the way I do it, every time I have, and this was on the FE, and you will see also these problems um, when you when you take in the power PE exam as well. So this is for both. All right, so let's calculate the old the old uh, reactive power. So let's go ahead and start with the old uh, power first. So remember, power factor, that's your cosine of theta, right? That's uh, P over S. Remember this, P over S, your power over your parent power. This is in, kilo, um, in kilowatts and this is in kVA, right? Uh, remember also that um, tangent of theta, and the reason why I'm writing this is because we're going to need this formula, this is uh, tangent, of, tangent of theta is Q over P, your reactive power over your real power in kilowatts, right? So for the old system of 100 kVA and 0.65 power factor, what's the power, what's the real power? So let's call that, uh, let me use a different color maybe. Let's use green. So P old, let's call that P old, right? That's um, 100 kVA, your S times your power factor, right? So that will be 100 times 0.65 and our answer will be in kilowatts because we're using kVA here. So putting that in your calculator, 100 times 100 times, that's, oh, I'm using my calculator for this, but okay, um, 65 uh, kilowatts. So our old reactive power from that is, um, 65 tangent of the power factor. So if you have a power factor of 
0.65 so if uh, so if power factor is 0.65 this means the angle is cosine inverse of that right so 0.65 cosine uh, of that would be 49 45 degrees so your Q old your old reactive power from this would be using this formula it would be 65 it would be P tangent of theta so that will be 65 times tangent of 49 45 so tangent times 65 that gives me 75.99 so this is around 76 so Q old is 76 K bar so this is my old, given the old system of 100 kVA and 0.65, I have a reactive power of 76 K bars. So now I, I'm adding a capacitor. It could be a capacitor bank or whatever, but it, I'm adding a capacitor. Now that I'm adding a capacitor, what is, how much is the new reactive power. Now when you add it, your real power does not change. Your real power does not change. So let's use a different color here. Um, let me use red. So my new power is still the same thing as my old power. It does not change at all. It remains constant. So P new is P old. So I still have 65 kilowatts. What's my new power factor angle? My new power factor after I add the capacitor, that's 0.9. So this is where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go to a 0.9 power factor. How much is the angle? Angle is 0.9 cosine. So this is 2584. 2584 degrees. So now what's my new reactive power for this system right here? So Q nu is P tangent theta. So since my real power does that does not change, it's still 65 tangent of 29, I mean 2584. And my new Q, my new reactive power, is that tangent times 65. That's 3148. K var. So after I added my capacitor, uh, capacitors they reduce uh, the total reactive power so after I added the capacitor my new reactive power total for the entire system becomes 3148 so I went from a 76 to a 3148 so how much is the capacitor actually contributing to it so of course you do the difference between those two so you're uh, contributing a reactive power from the capacitor would be 76 minus 31.48 minus 76 so this is 44.5 I should have used a different color but you, you get it so this is 44.5 so this is how much the capacitor is contributing in terms of reactive power in order to bring your power factor from 0 .6, 0 0.65 to 0 0.9 lagging. So this is the process of, of calculating, improving um, your power factor, you know, th this kind of problem. So do your, make sure you solve your original 
real power and your original reactive power and then your your new reactive power because your real power remains constant and then um, do the difference between these two. Now they can rewrite this problem and ask you for you know like the new reactive power for instance ask you for um, the new the improved power factor I mean they can they can do this in a bunch of different ways so be really careful and read the problem and understand are they asking you for the added uh, capacitor reactive power are they asking you for the entire system power factor but once you understand the concept behind if you if you do it this way understanding system versus capacitive uh, you know contributing reactive power from the capacitor then you will really know how to how to solve this type of problem because they're very very uh, very straightforward but you have to be really careful in understanding what exactly they're asking you to do so the key point here to remember is that your real power stays constant it does not change at all all right let me know if you have any questions